computing, a revolution of the mind and human ingenuity. Let's take a look at the specific case of Mr. Chang and Johnson, two honest, hard-working individuals facing a problem that can only be solved by using the cloud. Gee, I wish we could get that fiscal report to our branch in China right now. Mr. Babbitt is outfitting our servers with new vacuum tubes. He sure is a real wizard, those gizmos. Golly, what's taking so long? Johnson should have had that report to me. It looks like you two could use the cloud. The, the what? what? You know, the cloud. The cloud can make your lives so much simpler. Instead of worrying about server upgrades, software upgrades, and whatnot, you can focus on getting the job done. Tell us more. By using the cloud, you can rent the use of servers for a nominal fee. Gee, that's a lot of big words. I think I lost you. Think of it this way. Say, every month, you treat yourself to a muffin for the cost of a shiny nickel. Now, what if you want to buy two, three, or even 40 muffins? Whoa, you're pushing it there, buddy. That's like two dollars. What I'm trying to say is that when using the cloud, you pay for what you use. Take a look at this chart. This axis represents the cost, and this axis represents how long you've been using it. See how the line can go up and down? That's the result of how much bandwidth and storage you use in the cloud server. Well, that sounds cool and all, but how am I going to use this? I'm glad you asked. You're a small company, and you're on a budget. Well, good news! Cloud computing helps you start out like the big boys and use the apps they use too, without the hefty investment it usually takes. So you get better software without breaking the bank. This makes it easier for Johnson to share files with Mr. Chang. So you see, you can keep work flowing without stressing the small stuff. Neat!